But the Hoopin Gideon in New Delhi is located in the beautiful surroundings of the Teen Murti Bhavan, which was earlier the official residence of the India's first Prime Minister, Sri Jawana Nehru, converted into museum, planetarium, library, and also for various activities for children. The Nehru Pendulum then reaches out to the stars and gives a close glimpse of the sun and moon along with various stars and planets. It has a dome shaped sky theater, which is the main and major to its attraction, which shows the planetary facts, astronomical information, with details about constellations and other celestial bodies. The show period is 25 to 30 minutes. The show is a big attraction for school children, space lovers, stargazers, amateurs, astronauts, educationists, and scholars. Nehru Planetarium in Delhi is one of the five planetariums which are named after India's first Prime Minister, Sri Jawaharlal Nehru. The five Nehru Planetariums are located in Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, and Allahabad. The planetarium has constantly been improvising along the various innovating programs for its visitors. Number of workshops are organized along with various observing activities, astronomical quizzes and art competitions. Workshops at the planetarium help educate children and provide scientific understanding of heavenly bodies. This makes it a great place to learn and thereby promote the astronomy education.
In memory of Wahalai, Nehru is also a major attraction in the planetarium. The planetarium sets up 
Infinity Optical Star Protector and Mega Star, which are capable of showing 2 million stars whenever any solar eclipse occur. The planetarium also arranges telescopes, solar filters, projection boxes, etc., for the visitors to view these eclipses. The major attraction of the planetarium is Soyuz T-10, which carried India's first astronaut Rakesh Sharma to space with a spacesuit. 